previously on Life is Strange. Whoa! What did you find? Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody except each other. You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! Ah. Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. <sighs> Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Oh. Oh. Rachel, what? I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. I know you're close to Nathan, but your life is in serious danger. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Oh, no. Chloe. Look how. What the fuck? Welcome back, fellow adventurers, to Let's Play Life is Strange, to our final episode, Polarized. Help! Somebody help me! Looks like uh, Mr. Jefferson has us pretty well fixed to this chair, so we need to do something to get ourselves out. I don't remember anything that happened. 
This must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. Can we move our legs? <sighs> Finally, I'm free. Almost. Yes, looks like our legs were not sufficiently constrained. So, let's look at maybe being the trolley over here. Move it towards me. I hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. Shit! Jefferson kidnaps Victoria, too? This is so bad! Victoria! Wake up! Wake up! I promised I would never go back in time like this again. This is the only way. So, I recall uh, when I first played through this that up till about this point, I had been under the guess that Mr. Jefferson might have had the same kind of rewind powers that Max had. But, when I found that he just left some photos lying around that uh, Max could potentially use to do, the, uh, to do this very thing, go back in time, I realized that that wasn't the case. This angle highlights your purity, see? The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh, Christ. Look at that perfect face. Hold that stare there! Stay still! Shot. But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now, I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Let me try this angle. Don't move! Oh. Oh, much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows, and an eye for a whole lot more, as his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Good. Oh, those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone, and you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe, right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed, that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history, like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. 
Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you oh, down. No. No. <laughs> Now don't move or this will hurt much. Stupid bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. Remember my number one rule. Always take the shot. fancy camera into Jefferson's face. Wait. Jefferson couldn't handle stains on his photos. Good. Now I can use them. Whoa. I I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. Whoa. I I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. Oh. <laughs> Accidentally looked at it twice. All right. This might work. Please work. We are really dancing back and forth through the space time continuum here. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here, replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max, I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura and those lucky few become my models my subjects yes you're a psychopath and this is your last session au contraire max i'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now as you can see sleeping beauty here is too harsh for my gentle lens and don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. You killed Chloe. You murdered my best friend. She had a loaded weapon. 
This was clearly self-defense, but that's what happens when you play with guns. Or try to fuck with me. It's better when they don't know. Like pure, sweet Kate. Kate believed, and she survived. You failed to break her. She's stronger than ever, and she'll outlive you. She'll certainly outlive you. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'll pay Kate a visit soon and test her faith again. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. He's as sick as you. Don't judge people, Max. But that's why Nathan never should have been at Blackwell. That makes two of you. I hope Nathan realizes vision. So few people get that chance. You brainwashed him! I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious darkroom and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Chloe and Rachel. You killed both of them. They're fucking together in heaven right now. Is that what you want to hear? Why? 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 Start listening to me, you dumb cunt. I'm sorry, Max. <laughs> that was not cool. Anyway, Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You're good because you stopped your friend from beating Nathan up. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here. By your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. Our situation seems to have not improved a ton yet. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Is purity personified? Time to back up and try a new angle, I think. Wow. I can... There we go. Okay. Wait! Please, Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. 
You... you still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. And just like that, we have our way out. Way back at the beginning of it all. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. Selfie. A dumb I'm word back. for a wonderful photographic trick. Right back where I started this insane week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever again. The portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? <laughs> I'm not into capturing your interest. That's kind of sick, isn't it? <laughs> I guess somebody hasn't had their coffee. Do you want to try again? Okay, okay, the Daguerrean process. Blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Let's, uh, let's move on. Hmm? Uh, anyway, so the Daguerrean process made portraiture quite popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. <coughs> You can learn more when you finish reading the assigned chapters. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday time Heroes. To change time. The winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the First, artist. let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. What's I this? have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. Puts this whole first section in a new light here. Did you know someday your pictures would actually alter time and space? I hope I still love photography when this is done. Don't confuse the art with the artist. <laughs> Bastard. I've got a ton of Blackwell brochures, so I hope David's number is in there. This diary literally saved my life. I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Found you. Yep, there you are. So it looks like uh, Max is going to take a chance that David has not been working with either Nathan or Mr. Jefferson all this time. And it's going to try to reach out for him. See if he can help. For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. <laughs> and take Jefferson down fast. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. The past within the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? It doesn't matter, Victoria. It's nice to know how you really feel. 
My phone is dead and I'm bored. Time to bust out my posse. Why did I give up the word for the image? Because I suck. But Mark Jefferson rules. Everybody in here loves him. But he only seems to care about Max C. I want to hate her, but she wouldn't care. Envy is a sin, Vic. Get over yourself. I'm happy to fix it, so you'll be here to get your fancy camera, Victoria. Poor Kate. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hey, Max. Kate, listen to me. I am. Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max, that makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. I, I don't know what to say. That's okay. Neither do I. Maybe we could both use a hug. Thanks. You always know the right thing to do. The rest of this we've seen before. Victoria, I'm sorry you have to stand next to that psycho. I see right through your bullshit, Jefferson. Everybody else will too. Mr. Jefferson, we need to talk. Uh, Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? Yes, I see. But maybe you shouldn't. Uh, and why not? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? I will be when Victoria understands that hiding behind a screen, posting videos of people is incredibly cruel and unfair. You're smart enough to know how easy it is to hurt somebody, to destroy their life. I just want you to think about how much it would hurt if somebody did that to you. You can always make the right choice, Victoria. I know you've got a good heart. I've seen it. Listen, I... I didn't... You don't have to explain. There's no reason for you to be so insecure that you can't be happy with your own talent. Wouldn't it be better to lift people up than to bring them down? You could inspire people. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about now, do I, Mr. Jefferson? I think I should stay out of this one, Victoria. Then I guess I'm done talking. And that's okay, too. That was kind of random, Max. What did you mean? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh... That was easy. No. It wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh... I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell, the, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be... innocent. Or guilty. Uh... Well... Thanks for the photo, and maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson.
Whoa! Okay. You're okay, Max. You're safe. On a plane. I hope I did everything right this time. Good work, David. Chloe. Oh, you're alive. Oh, you're alive. I did it. I fixed everything. Well, sir. Now, she says that, but on the other hand, look up in front. It's almost like she's still in one of the photographs. I'm still between realities, and I can't focus on this one for too long. Indeed. Even Max seems it's to so have some weird idea to be about in that. in between realities. Everything is out of focus and in the distance. I have to admit. I love being called an artist. We're almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited, too. The beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts. Two Moon Diner? And that all the environmental chaos in Arcadia Bay, such as the unseasonal snowfall and beached whales. Some residents reported seeing two full moons last night around 8 p.m. Witnesses claimed the double moons were clear in the night sky until clouds covered them up shortly after they appeared. No cell phone or video footage has surfaced yet, which has led local meteorologists to believe that imaginations are in overdrive due to the recent eco-havoc. Blackwell Security uncovers bunker and scandal. Acting on a series of tips from David Madsen, head of security at Blackwell Academy, police officers descended Tuesday on a bizarre underground chamber allegedly used by teacher Mark Jefferson and student Nathan Prescott to drug, kidnap, and photograph young women. Although there were no other signs of physical or sexual assault on the victims, the disturbing revelations have sent shockwaves through the tranquil city of Arcadia Bay. Even Sean Prescott, the most powerful businessman in the area, is under investigation for his role as owner of the farmhouse where the high-tech darkroom studio was located. Please shut up. Aw, oh, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time when we were innocent. Please fasten your seat and stow any electronic gear until the plane is on the ground and at the gate. Thank you. We're starting our descent in a few minutes. It's a beautiful day in San Francisco with clear skies and cool 60 degrees. We hope you enjoyed your trip and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly with us anytime. Uh, I don't think so. I'm hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. Hmm. I bet this is a nice break for Principal Wells. How did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Just a bit. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's, things have been hectic, to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop whining. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guide you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. Oh, Christ. Another nosebleed? Max... You're not just screwing around with time.
San Francisco is so cool. And this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. I, I feel so weird, like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max, after this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Max, I'm gonna eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. Bowser Max, you did it. Somehow, I went from the dark room to this gallery. I've been through so many realities in one week. Life is weird. <laughs> Almost a shout out to the title there. There I am, along with all the other winners. I should say artists instead. I never thought I'd get to speak to a gallery receptionist about my own work. Nice. Why, good morning. You must be Max Caulfield. Congratulations for your everyday heroes photo. The exhibition is quite impressive, especially with your entry. Boy, it just seems too good to be true around here, doesn't it? The Zeitgeist Gallery does have a cool history in Frisco. I mean, San Francisco. I wish I had time to go see those murals here. I need to drop some serious cash in there. Hmm. I don't see any of the weird background, though unlike on the plane. So have we indeed shifted to a new reality? Wow, sir. A Danny Lee article. The Golden Gate Reporter. I left my art in San Francisco by Daniel Lee. Yes, I was born on a BART train. Literally. It's a long, amazing story that I won't repeat here. Drinks are required for that one. Here's to Mom. That might explain my obsessive love for the Bay Area and its outpost of artists and dissidents. Despite the rampant gentrification, artists and creators thrive regardless of socio-economic pressures, because that's what they do. Galleries such as the Zeitgeist and Milkovich Fashion have engaged with the diverse community and practiced what some patrons only preach. I wonder how it is to live in a submarine like that. It must be really claustrophobic. The hunt for the real October? The revolution will not <laughs> be televised. Stop the startups. How many more shops and residents have to be driven out of their lifelong homes by the latest boutique cafe or overpriced themed restaurant? The tech heads that have enslaved the city and need a lesson in transgression. Join us this Saturday to begin the end. Now well, they said there was gentrification going on around here. I love how much cool art is going on all over the Bay Area. Unlike Arcadia Bay. Learn the craft and history of the Shambhala. Some mysteries should stay that way. Call Tiki? Yeah, I think, think that that's it. Kaltiki Tours presents Mysteries of the Pacific Islands, three-hour tour of the Bay Area coastline. 
Visit ancient burial and ceremonial sites. Discover local lore and legends. Holy shit. This flyer was designed just for Chloe. I wonder if I'm ready for the mosh pit. Skull and bones. Hallow's Eve party. But what would I wear? Nigel Samhain's Druid Festival. How fun. Yes, Warren would definitely go ape over this show. History of dystopian cinema. Cultural archivist. Uh, is that supposed to be just another way of saying Christian Devin? Exchin? I'm not sure. Presents a kinetic clip show and lecture showing how industrial apocalyptic paranoia led to the birth of world dystopian cinema. From Metropolis to Planet of the Apes to Blade Runner to The Hunger Games. There's another leaflet under there, but I can't look at it, it seems. I heard Mark Jefferson was supposed to be here tonight. Not anymore. That was so shocking. I have one of his monographs, too. Hold on to it. His work is going to be worth serious cash. <laughs> the cynical side of the art world right there. Not my style, but the neon is a nice representation. Oh, shit. Pretentious alert. <laughs> Are you Max Caulfield? Bravo on your entry. I'm the art critic for Iris N Magazine, and we would love to include you in a piece about future trendsetters in photography. I'll send you the details this week, if that's okay. Congratulations for your piece. Let's see what's up on the uh, deck here. How do these galleries afford to rent here? Lots of donations, I would assume. God, I love art. She loves art. You must be the everyday hero from Blackwell. My name is Lauren Francis, and I run the media department at Detroit School of Visual Arts. I'd love to talk about you being a residency next spring. Don't say anything to Principal Wells yet. Whoa, job offers already. I wonder if I can buy these everyday heroes pictures. Sorry, I don't know your name, but I saw your picture in the gallery brochure, and uh, I just wanted to let you know how cool your entry was. That is different. Loving the retro vibe. Me too. Makes me want to go buy an instant camera. Damn, I bet that film costs a fortune. Hi, and there she is to save the day. Hi. You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least, for today. Are you okay? We lost uh, you there for a second. Your I'm okay. Uh, jet lag. High altitude. Oh, you left the ringer off, idiot. Oh, come on. Please answer. What? Oh no. Chloe, where are you? I'm so fucking scared! I'm, I'm by the beach! I'm Chloe! Like... Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Oh my god! The tornado was real! Oh, I didn't fix shit! Chloe will die! Arcadia Bay is gonna be destroyed! There has to be a way to stop this! For good! 
So much for everything being fixed. Well, we do have one of uh, Max's photographs. No fucking way. Chloe can't die again. I have to save her. Depth, the field, the colors. Look at the bulk of shape. This was definitely shot with a medium. This is the lower level, as you can see. We find out those details. The story of a photo, if you know how to look at all the details of a picture. Oh, this is so interesting, Matthew. I didn't think you knew all this. When I was younger, I did a lot of photography studies. Didn't I tell you about it, Emma? I was quite good at it, actually, but I decided to drop photography to do a real paying job. Anyway, it is interesting to be here, and you're lucky to be with me here. I can share all this with you. Uh, Dad? The label says that this is a print from a disposable camera. What are you talking about? Uh, yes, of course. I was meaning a like a disposable camera. Yes, yes, uh... Please, no. no. I... You have to be in Arcadia Bay to help Chloe. Not here. Well, just give us a minute, Max, and we will get you back to where you think you need to be. Principal Wells is attacking the buffet, just as he had assured us he would. I know it's kind of simple, but I find this haunting. Right? The instant print makes it look timeless. Nostalgic melancholy. A Who's teenage the girl. Artist? I think it's for some contest. That's cool. Seems pretty mature. Like, I do not understand art. How much would you pay for that? <gasps> My contest photo. It might be the only way to get back. <laughs> There's your big hint. Bad I just wanted to look everywhere first. Bad framing. Bad picture. I could have done this so much better. There's a healthy attitude to bring into an art gallery. Excuse me. I'd love to ask you a few questions about your work. Sorry, but... <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, my head! What is going on now? It feels like reality is breaking apart. What am I doing to time? You're paradoxing the hell out of it. My previous timeline was so perfect. I'll accept that I need to be in Arcadia Bay, not San Francisco. I just have to make one simple change, so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. And that's to destroy her entry. Sorry, San Francisco. Chloe comes first. 